A lot of players are experiencing FPS issues with CS2. Now that's expected since CSGO is a very old game and CS2 is new. Now switching from CSGO to CS2, we see the frame rates drop 20%. This 20% can be lowered with this CS2 FPS guide. Now I know nothing about settings and PC optimization, so I call for some help. Isa from Nazareth, he is a PC optimizer who has worked on pro players' computers such as Monacy, Kenny S, Scream, and many more. He kindly shared some CS2 optimization tips and tricks with me that I'm going to show to you all. And if you need more help, message him on Twitter. Link is down below in the description. I will be making more FPS guides with Isa as CS2 is going to be continuously updated and changed. So subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out. Without further ado, let's get right into it. First, go down into the description and click this Google Drive link to download ISIS FPS folder. This folder has necessary programs that we need to use for the optimization. Then you're going to right click the folder and click download. The file won't download right away as it is compressing it and zipping the folder. However, once it's done, choose where you want to save the folder, which here I choose desktop. Next, you're going to want to extract the folder and here I'm using WinRAR to do so and I'm going to save the extracted folder onto my desktop. All right, now let's open ISIS FPS folder. In the video, you'll see it's named NART, but I rename it to ISIS FPS. Don't worry, they both have the same things in there. First, click on the folder clean and run clean temp as administrator, which cleans up your log files. Go ahead and let that run. It could take a long time for it to complete. Next, go back into ISIS FPS folder and run part control setup. Change the drop down to bit sum highest performance, click make active, then press OK. Don't worry about the power profiles, they have already been deleted. Next, go back to ISIS FPS folder and into the clean folder. Right click on the first file and run that as an administrator. Then go to the bottom right of your computer, find part control, right click, settings and make sure start at login is unchecked which i'm going to left click there go back into isis folder and go into the islc folder where you are going to run the first file look for your total system memory and you're going to take half that number and you're going to put that number where it says free memory is lower than now if your total system memory number ended in an odd number for example if the number is five you can't divide it by two to get a whole number so you'd actually take minus one from the total system number, then divide it by two. Make sure to enable start ISLC minimize and launch ISLC, polling rate at 10,000, change wanted timer resolution to zero, enable custom timer resolution if you are on Windows 10, enable use global timer resolution if you are on Windows 11, but I have Windows 10, so I'm not gonna enable the global. Click start, and then you will see your current timer resolution dropping. Then afterwards, minimize it. It will be in the bottom right. Just let it run. Next up are NVIDIA drivers. Before I show you what drivers to install, it's important to note that if you plan on playing other games outside of CS2 and using OBS, you should download the latest driver. Go back to ISIS folder and now you're going to go to the NVIDIA folder, then DDU folder and run the display driver uninstaller.exe as an administrator. Once you have this open, go ahead and select GPU, then NVIDIA, and then click clean and restart. After you restart, you're gonna go back into ISIS folder, NVIDIA, and then click NV clean install. If you have an RTX 30 or 40 card, you will select the first option that says install best driver for my hardware. Now, if you have a GTX 20 or below, choose the second option where you manually select the driver number 460.89. Then press next, select PhysX, Microsoft Visual, and NV Container. Select HD Audio via HDMI only if you need audio drivers for your graphics card, for example, using Elgato through HDMI, double PC setup, or screen audio. If these things don't pertain to you, leave this one unchecked. Then press next. Once that's done running, go ahead and check Show Expert Tweaks, Disable Driver Telemetry, Disable NVIDIA HD Audio Device Sleep Timer, Disable HDCP, and then the bottom two, Use Method Compatible with Easy Anti-Cheat, and automatically accept the Driver Unsigned Warning. 
then press next once you have all these checked. Now press install. The NVIDIA installer will pop up. Then press agree and continue, custom advance, and then these two should be checked already. Then press next. Once the driver is installed, click close and go back to ISIS folder. Go to the NVIDIA folder and go to the folder that says run after the driver installation. Select all three files and press enter. You are going to get some administrative warnings that pop up on the screen and I want you to press yes to all of them. Unfortunately, I could not record this part because these pop-ups went on my second screen. Now run the NVIDIA profile inspector.exe, then click this button up top right, click import profile, look for ISO's folder on your desktop, go to the NVIDIA folder, then run either the GTX 20 and below if your graphics card is this, or if you have a newer card, RTX 30 and 40, then select this one. But I have a 1080, so I'm gonna select the GTX 20 and below. Then click open. Click OK. Then apply changes, and then you're going to exit out. We are all done with the NVIDIA install. Go back into the NVIDIA folder and install the NVIDIA control panel. Click install, then press agree and continue. If you already have the NVIDIA control panel, then don't install it. After this, go into the reg files, run NT multimedia, which focuses on window, making it run better tasks, games, audio, etc. And then run 26 hex afterwards, which will make your windows have better latency. Now right click on your desktop and go to NVIDIA control panel. Under 3D settings, click adjust image settings with preview, change it to use the advanced 3D image settings, apply. Skip 3D settings since we've already applied it through the profile inspector earlier. Now go to configure surround, physx, and change process to your graphics card and click apply. Now change the resolution and make sure you have the right refresh rate. And now we're going to go to adjust desktop size and position, full screen, and perform scaling on. Now depending on what you want, put display scaling if you want best input delay and sharper. However, all tabbing won't be instantly. GPU scaling is best for smoothness and alt tabbing will be instant but won't be as sharp. When done, press apply. So now we're done with the NVIDIA control panel. Now let's open up sounds and make sure that you have everything you are not currently using disabled. Afterwards, go to recording and here we see the camera microphone enabled so we want to disable that. Afterwards, click OK. Now let's go over Steam settings and go to friends and chat. Disable the option that says enable animated avatars and animated avatar frames in your friends list and chat. Then go to interface, change the start application to library, uncheck enable GPU accelerated rendering in web views, restart later. Only leave run steam when my computer starts enabled. Then afterwards go to the library. You want to check these three here, low bandwidth mode, low performance mode, and disable community content. Then you're going to go to remote play. Make sure that remote play is disabled. Afterwards, go to broadcast and make sure this is disabled as well. And now we are done with the Steam settings. Next, open up Steam, go to library, right click on CSGO, go to properties, install files, then browse. This pops up this folder here where you will now go to game, bin, win64, right click on cs2.exe, go to properties, Compatibility, disable full screen optimizations, change high DPI settings, and enable override high DPI scaling behavior. Click OK, apply, then OK. Before we go into CS2 and look at the video settings, if you want the most optimized CS2 settings for best FPS, it will involve using ISIS config, which I'll link his tweet down below in the description. If you do choose to use his config, then don't change the video settings in game. You will have to change it in his config. Now we are going to launch CS2. And at this current moment of making this video, the devs put out an update where they removed several legacy networking con bars that existed in CSGO, but never had an effect in CS2. So I won't be going over those rates at this current time. These were the console commands that were messing with the interp as well as the update rate. Now, if this gets changed in the future, I will make an update video. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on that. 
Now we're going to go to the video settings, make sure you have the correct refresh rate and then go to advanced video, boost player contrast enabled, wait for vertical sync disabled, current video values preset custom, multi sampling anti aliasing mode none, global shadow quality high, model texture low. For texture filtering mode settings, you want to select bilinear for slower GPUs and 8x for medium and high end GPUs, shader low, particle low, ambient occlusion disabled, high dynamic range performance, Fidelity FX super resolution disabled. For NVIDIA reflex low latency, if you have a bad CPU, pick enable plus boost. And then for enabled, if you have a good CPU and GPU, and then disabled if you have a bad PC overall. Lastly, we're gonna configure our RAM so XMP is enabled and this needs to be done in the BIOS. To access the BIOS, search in the bottom left for recovery options and click restart now under advanced startup. Your computer will reboot to a special menu and in this menu press troubleshoot, advanced options, and UEFI firmware settings. This may take roughly 10 seconds, but will take you to your BIOS settings. Once you are in your BIOS, we can enable the XMP option. On some BIOS, the settings may be right in front of you, but on others, it may be tucked away somewhere. So it's best for you to Google where your XMP is on the BIOS, but for me, I can just enable on the front screen. And if you have a RTX 30 and above, while you are still in your BIOS, make sure to enable resize bar support. Press F10 to save and exit. Your CS2 should run a lot smoother now, and you should have gained some more FPS using this guide. CS2 is currently in beta, so I will be making a more up-to-date CS2 FPS guides in the future with ISA. So subscribe so you don't miss out. And if you have any issues during this guide, make sure to message Isa on Twitter. Now, see you all in the server.